Few American statesmen have been on the front lines of America's post-9-11 diplomatic efforts more than current U.S. Ambassador to Afghanistan Ryan Crocker. He reopened the embassy in 2001 following the fall of the Taliban. He's been posted to Pakistan and notably Iraq, where he was partnered with General David Petraeus during the surge. And he was in New York on the day of the attacks and carries the memory close to his heart. It's defined my life and my career basically from that day to this. I've spent uh, five years uh, since 9-11 deployed in these countries. Um, I expect to be here for several more. Um, um, because I, you know, 3,000 people dead uh, in, in one New York morning is something none of us ever want to see again. At first, the U.S. was reluctant to engage in nation building in Afghanistan, preferring to focus on deposing the Taliban and hunting down Al Qaeda. But quickly, it became apparent that without building institutions, it left a vacuum in the country that allowed the Taliban to sneak back in from safe havens in Pakistan and destabilize Afghanistan again. Former Afghan foreign minister and opponent to President Hamid Karzai, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah says the international community and the Afghans themselves have missed an opportunity. By not understanding one another better, ignoring the Pakistani safe havens, and by allowing corruption to grow in the country, notably within the government. These three factors uh, has led to today's situation. And 10 years down the road, we should have been uh, in a much better situation in terms of Afghan institutions assuming uh, responsibility. When the U.S. came to Afghanistan, the policy was to bring anti-Taliban warlords onto the payroll, critics say, turning a blind eye to their abuses, which resulted in an environment of corruption. Afghanistan is a devastated, impoverished country. Ambassador Crocker has seen firsthand what happens when institutions are either non-existent or removed, and says people need to be patient in building up civil society. Institutions take time to build, particularly when uh, in Afghanistan, like in Iraq, you've had not just the removal of a leader, you've had a revolution. Um, all of these old structures are gone. Um, uh, so you don't get ministries that um, function perfectly overnight or even over a decade. It takes time to develop this. Um, it takes time to develop rule of law, which means whether it's Iraq or whether it's Afghanistan, you are going to have corruption. Um, uh, it has to be taken seriously. But with a 2014 timetable set for NATO combat troops to leave Afghanistan, many say the Taliban is under the impression they can just wait out the West. Dr. Abdullah says this is due to the past experience, when the Soviets left in haste, and a lack of clarity of message about what will happen after NATO combat troops leave. It's a very uphill struggle with the past experience of the Afghan people, which the Soviet withdrew overnight in the last soldier, the last tank. Uh, that, that is very vivid in the memory of the Afghan people. But at the same time, uh, the administration, the Afghan administration confusing its own people. Uh, the, the range of the views of the Afghans, uh, you will be surprised that it differs from a complete, complete withdrawal, nothing left behind, to permanent basis. To avoid another vacuum and civil war, like after the Soviet pullout, the West is working on building up local forces, as they did in Iraq, and not abandoning Afghanistan again, as well as getting that message across, is a priority for Ambassador Crocker, because, he says, the consequences are unacceptable. To leave before the job is done, uh, before Afghan security forces are, are fully capable of uh, managing security throughout the country, uh, risks the return of the Taliban. And that's why, a decade on, um, we, we have to muster the strategic patience as a nation and as a people uh, to do everything we can to make things come right here and next door in Pakistan. Um, precisely so we, we never endure that kind of attack again.
Like the ambassador, many Americans involved say, despite the distance of time, those images from 10 years ago remain a driving force in their work in Afghanistan. Phil Itner, VOA News, Kabul, Afghanistan.